Nebraska may be as red as it gets. A Democratic presidential candidate has not won the state since 1964. It hasn't always been that way. William Jennings Bryan, considered by many one of Nebraska's greatest politicians, was a Democrat. UNL political science professor Kevin Smith says in the early 1900s, Bryan convinced many Nebraskans to go to solid Democrat. What was taking a hold there was this notion of prairie populism. Um, this notion that the farmers were getting a raw deal from the big corporations, that the government wasn't sticking up for them. And so sort of like the political message that Jennings was selling um, was a fairly easy thing for farmers in Nebraska to buy into. And buy into, many Nebraskans did. As Bryan's populist strategy spread in the state, it helped his Democratic Party to gather support. The Nebraska Historical Society's Jim Potter says Bryan's message also helped form today's Democratic Party philosophy. Bryan started the transformation of the Democratic Party into the, the modern party maybe we see today, which is more liberal, more, more in favor of, of government intervention. From 1896 to 1916, a majority of Nebraskans voted for the Democratic candidate in four of the six elections. Even though Bryan ran for president three times, Potter says his impact on the state didn't last long. It it's, seems rather rather rare that Democrats have been able to sort of, you know, take over and, and dominate Nebraska politics. Even so, in 2008, Barack Obama was able to capture one of Nebraska's five electoral votes. That was the first time a Democrat has made a dent in the state in 44 years. Smith still believes he thinks Nebraska will remain more Republican into the future. The notion of those trends spreading to the rest of Nebraska, I don't see Nebraska, especially western Nebraska, getting particularly urbanized in the immediate future. Jake Sorensen reporting for Newsnet Nebraska.